Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is going to be your love reading uh, coming up for while well, going through the month of April 2022. This is a Virgo channel only, so if you're new, please do subscribe if you like what you hear here. All right, Virgo, just be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take it with a grain of salt, Virgo. Not every message will be for you, but sometimes every message will be for you. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Um, yes, and I'll make announcements at the end. All right, let's just get straight into your reading here, Virgo. How are you all doing? Hello, everyone in the chat. All right, let's take a look here and see what's going on for Virgo. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What does Virgo need to know for the month of April in love? Okay. All right, talking, um, interested, conversing more. Awaited message arrives, text, call, email. Okay, hoovering. <laughs> okay, so there's going to be some conversation coming up in the month of April. Somebody's going to start talking or two people are going to start talking again. Um, interested in talking, getting some information. She has a laptop there, so it could be online, it could be communication through computer or online something along those lines i know you can't see the card let me see if i can brighten it up a little bit more for you guys um it's all right i'm going to show you the cards anyway let's see what else do you have okay mirror mirroring each other self-image relationships reflecting our wounds and introspection all right this mirroring image uh, imagery here this makes me feel like um a soulmate um, you could be meeting a soulmate or conversing with one or starting to talk to someone in the month of April your um, you and another person reflecting back to each other through communication so it feels kind of like with these two cards it feels like good dialogue between two people it feels like two people having a conversation and um, actually listening mirroring back to one another what the other person is saying so it feels like um effective communication actually happening all right let me see what else do we have okay heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving and mourning so this is what i feel like is happening here um talking about heart um a breakup talking about feelings talking about someone feeling very hurt could be you or another person feeling lost without each other um, talking about a separation or a breakup um, talking about a grief process or mourning so hmm, i like the way this is starting for you virgo i feel like there's some kind of conversation that's going to start happening in the month of april where um, there may have been a separation between two people, um, whether that's you and a past person or you and a new person coming in talking about your heartbreak or your grief or the things that you've been through together, okay? So that can really just go either way. Let me see what the Romance Angels messages are here for you. Okay, there's passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, playfulness, very nice. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, and separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. For some of you, this could be a, um, messages of closure to people communicating if it's a past person and um, talking about the heartbreak, talking about the things that occurred in the past and maybe putting closure to a relationship in order to move on or to move forward together in a new um, with new energy so let's take a look and see what other messages there are here for you Virgo okay so page of swords here I feel like somebody is definitely in an energy of like thinking about there could be a battle so there might be like this thing where it's like um, I'm feeling like an on guard energy. I feel like somebody wants to communicate and talk about things, but dukes are up just in case. Um, there's a fear of, 
I feel it's, I don't know, let me retract that. I don't know so much if it's a fear, but there's an element of, I just heard thunder. Wow, that must be a sign. There's an element here of like being a bit testy. Somebody feeling a bit testy. Uh, maybe some nervous energy that Page of Swords energy is, you know, seeking some truth, but being kind of defensive, um, hypersensitive or sensitive. My gosh, I'm getting like thunderstorms, notifications. I feel like Spirit's trying to say that we're on the right track here with this reading thus far. Okay, yes, the tower. Oh my goodness. Choose it, trying, I feel like there's like this hesitation, thinking about It's like the thought process is, I have to be careful with what I say. Okay, Page of Swords generally is not careful with what they say. However, the thoughts are, the th it's more about the thoughts. It's more about having, thinking about the ideas of what to say. Um, something to do with some kind of destructive energy here, Tower. Okay, um, scorpionic energy there. Somebody does not want to destroy something. Um, but I also feel like somebody's here kind of saying, break that ego down. You know, like that crown chakra energy. Like somebody really wants to tell another person that that big nasty ego is just ruining everything or ruined everything. That could be you. It could be another person. Let me see here. Okay, three of pentacles. So it feels like break down that ego, slash it with that sword. <laughs> Not literally, figuratively. And the three of pentacles is more along the lines of like, try to come into teamwork, try to come together and collaborate. Um, talk about things because threes are always about communication okay nine of pentacles so virgo this is definitely your energy here that nine of pentacles that's a virgo card i feel like there's somebody here um maybe that you're connecting with could be saying to you in regard to a heart a heart break or a separation or a breakup that they were all too much up in their ego and also wanting to tell you that it's weird it feels like let me just get another clarifying card just to be sure yes needing and desiring to heal the connection okay here you go. And this is Aquarius energy here. Bringing a message of rebirth of some sort. It feels to me like break down the ego, destroy what was in the past to try to have some clarity, to try to get some healing, to renew a connection or to just renew love in general. Bring that healing in. Somebody may think, if this was someone you're connecting with, that you destroyed the relationship, okay? And, and you know what, even if they think that, or, they, or they're coming to terms with their, that they're the ones that destroyed the connection because of ego, or you destroyed it because of ego, whether it's yours or another person, the other person, there's an energy here of wanting to rebuild, again, it's like taking a look at the blueprints and trying to figure out how to make something better again in a connection, right? Because you're, you're shining very, you're looking really good, Virgo, in your life. Masculine or feminine energy. I feel like you, um, you're confident. It looks like, or at least this person looks at you that way, as if you are just doing fine. I feel like you caught somebody. Um, 
by showing because pentacles are physical you you learned you schooled somebody or they feel you schooled them but not not in like maybe a harsh way i just feel like your energy here is that of somebody who really just wanted to live your best life i feel like somebody sees this here and i feel like they want to destroy everything in the past and just break it all down and start rebuilding here okay now again like i said could this be a past person it could it could also be meeting somebody new and talking about how you know somebody coming in and telling you that you know they're they're looking um, to be in a committed relationship. They're very attracted to you. They're looking for someone who's stable and self-sufficient, okay, which would be you. And talking also about how they're, they're on the mend from a, a, a past destructive connection that they had that was just completely like broke them down. Okay, um, and this could be your past person as well. Now let's see what else is going on here. Okay, Queen of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. So it feels like um, this person sees you as being warm, I feel, intuitive, um, popular, confident, self-assured. They see you as a golden ticket, and I don't mean like <laughs> sugar daddy, sugar mama kind of thing, you know. They just see you as someone who um, is worth investing in. Okay, so Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. They see you as someone that they can, um, that there's potential for um, this relationship to progress, to be promoted, um, to raise to the to its highest level. They see you as someone like that. And and you know, Virgo. Even if you are not, some of you could be on the cusp of Leo Virgo. Um, but even if you you might have fire somewhere in your chart, or you just have an element of fire, or you might be like uh, fire heavy in your chart. Let me see what's going on here. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I did a, um, a lot of studying of the Witches Tarot over the weekend. And this Nine of Swords, um, I don't know if you can see, I probably won't be able to get it close enough, but if you look at her neck, she has bite marks on her neck. Um, and what, that, what the description of this card is, with the bite marks on her neck is kind of like someone who is either a victim of a vampire, <laughs> a, you know, like an energy soul stealer type of thing, or this is someone who um, kind of plays this drama. Uh, everything is just so dramatic. They're like a drama queen or a drama king. Um, I feel like whoever this person is, they, they sense that you have had some pretty difficult, um, uh, you're, you're still kind of, maybe you have a lot of anxiety or stress, but I feel like this person senses that you were the victim of some type of energy vampire. And you actually might communicate with this person and tell them that that is something that you, um, are still working through in your life could even be if it's a past person could even be you telling this past person that you were with that, that they drained you of all your energy that the relationship drains you drained you and called you uh, caused you a lot of stress and anxiety okay and that separation period um, that breakup was a time for you to heal okay and maybe you're still healing from that at this time Okay, you might very well still be healing that. And I feel like, and I, I'm not trying to call anybody out here, but there is a possibility that you both had this mirroring effect on each other. And it, if this is a past person, that you both may have had a mirroring effect with each other like this, where the intensity of the connection drained the heck out of you, both of you. Being together was almost destructive in a lot of ways okay 
you know look at those two people who fell out of that tower it, and it, it, it I, I get a sense like the person if this is a past person what we're talking about um they feel the same exact way and that's what the mirroring energy is with the communication here um talking like mirroring each other talking about it feels like reflecting your wounds back to each other being introspective but also like saying you know two people saying yeah i felt the same way you did in this connection you know um and maybe both of you like this person might say to you you know i see you as everything but you rolled that victim card for a little while in our connection and, and you virgo might be shocked to hear that and but with your willingness to be self-reflective as is the hermit and with your willingness to be self-aware you might actually um agree to that and say you know i felt like you were doing the same thing you know these are heavy hard lessons to be vulnerable and open up and to have that renewal of the soul and the spirit um to be even to be able to overcome whatever these obstacles are. Now, again, as I said, it doesn't have to be a past person, but we do have separation. So you could also be talking to somebody new um, where that conversation plays out, you know, and you both say, yeah, we were both victims of some type of vampire energy, but also it could be playing out where you both may say to yourselves, and then I became that way as well. I became vampiric myself for being in a relate, like a, a very toxic relationship. In other words, I became just as toxic. Okay. So here's a lover's Gemini energy. So there's something here about connecting and being vulnerable two people, past person or someone new. There's a common ground that gets found between two people here. Um, coming together, you know, that lover's card, it's a six, it's harmony, it's balance. It's definitely mirroring. Look at how they're mirroring one another. There's definitely an energy here of two people connecting on a very same level coming into alignment with each other you know um sixes are about self-sacrifice as well you know uh, loyalty being responsible for self and each other and i feel like the six in this lover's card sixes can also be about reconciliation um so there's something going on here reconciling with a past person or reconciling um, your past to each other you know taking stock taking inventory getting real with yourselves and saying you know we weren't we weren't good to each other in the past and we needed to split this needed to end we were mirroring each other in the in the relationship in the past one person was being toxic the other person was then became toxic um, one person that's really what I feel like is going on here and I feel like for you Virgo you definitely got or are getting yourself to this place in April where you're relearning uh, a lot about your past relationships you're relearning a lot about yourself um, rising like a Venus a Venus or a penis rising <laughs> I don't, sometimes it's subliminal. I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on in this brain or who the hell's talking to me, but hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, rising like the phoenix, okay? Your vibrations are much higher. You're more steady. You're learning how to be um, someone who, you know, with that nine of pentacles is, <laughs> I can't stop laughing at that. You're not, who's talking to me? I must have like an, some kind of incubus spirit with me. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is talking about all that self-sufficiency, financial gain, and solo pleasures, and finding yourself, relearning who you are, relearning what what it is that you want, and and also um, being single and coming to a place where I feel like some of you are kind of like you know this whole single thing, singles Pringle, not that bad. And not that bad. I'm looking here at that bird up there. It kind of looks like a hawk. 
Hmm, something about a hawk. Let's see, what, what's going on here? Let me get another card. Where do I want to put another card here? Okay, they're saying on the lover. So I'm seeing a lot of healing in a relationship. I'm seeing um, possible marriage or a sacred union or some type of um, deep partnership developing between two people in April. Two people making a decision to come together based on commonality. Okay, finding, it feels like finding the commonalities between each other by opening up, being vulnerable, and talking to one another and sharing that love, the gifts. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. There's still a little bit of hesitation, okay, um, because it feels like time is going to allow something to develop here. It's not a rushing in, but there is an energy of like, I think I think we're gonna get some healing going on here. I feel like, you know, even this is somebody new for you that you're coming in, you're both coming in with like, I feel like I've found my person. I found my match, okay? Although not rushing in, okay, I'm taking my time. Okay, I'm sorting things out. You know, um, it's about patience. Okay, patience, time and patience. I love that so much because I feel like that is so crucial in order for our relationship to develop. Time and patience and kind of like, like I said, you know, getting on the same page. Let me see what's going on here. Two heads are better than one, I feel. Okay, so they gave me the King of Swords in the reverse. Hmm, why is this here? So we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. King of Swords in the reverse is kind of like a quiet manipulator. Behind the scenes. Okay. Virgo, I feel like you're in the mindset where this person, whoever you were connecting with in the past, you have it definitely in your head that like when you think about this person, your ideas, the things that you, um, you've, you've, it feels like you've patiently formed this idea in your mind that the person that you are with or that people that you meet come in as having um, behind the scenes motives to harm or take advantage. So there might be an element of like, and you believe that to be true so much that it vibrates through your your physical self. So when you talk to somebody, when you meet somebody, the first thing you think, uh, so it, it, you know what, it just feels like there's a trust thing here and you might be, that's why that three of pentacles is there because maybe you're in some type of therapy or counseling or you're reading self-help books or you're trying to get a better understanding. You're definitely in this process of learning. I feel like there's a connection that's beginning to heal in April, but there's still a lot of heartbreak. There's still a lot of being deeply hurt and there's still grief. So somebody might be reaching out to you with the page of swords and you might not be ready. I feel like that's why you're, you're maybe a little bit in hesitation, both of you as well. Um, I feel, you know, it's crazy. I feel like, um, I feel like, I feel like you both want to want to try to have something here, but the the past pains you still you're still relearning, okay? And so is somebody else here. So it's not like April's going to be a bum. It's not April's not going to be like a rush into a relationship kind of energy, not at all. Um, the healing process is going to take time. I don't feel like you're going to want to rush in to try to just talk to somebody, especially if it's a past person, and just say, forget about it. I feel like you're trying to forgive, but there's a trust issue. Yeah, look, 
you get the four of pentacles so it's like you are very greedy with your heart and you are very possessive and quite guarded even though you're doing well from maybe a financial standpoint or school or working on your you know your businesses or your career or all the practical things in your life um, I, some of you are using those practical things in your life to keep your heart safe you know um, maybe as a distraction which you know nobody's judging Virgo I mean if that's where you're at with things that's where you're at but it feels like you're you're holding tight look at how his arms are crossed across his chest you're in you're, you're definitely in protective mode okay um, definitely in protective mode I feel like some of you want to have love you want to have a new beginning uh, some of you do want to heal a past relationship but I, I feel the need to tell you that time is your friend. Allow time to take its course. I do feel like the other person, I get a sense that they're spying or they're watching you. Um, they don't, they just said, tell Virgo, they're not intending to harm. Um, if it feels like that, it's really just on that other person's end to when we have the tower it's like everything comes crashing down but then there's an opportunity to rebuild the foundation you know lightning can hit a tower it doesn't always mean that the tower is going to completely collapse usually what makes it collapse is the vibration hitting the tower that shakes, you know, vibrates all the way down to the foundation that just breaks it apart, which means the foundation was weak, wasn't sturdy enough to withhold or absorb um, the shock, okay? Um, and so things fall apart, and then there's an opportunity to have growth and healing and renewal again. You know, that's always the way it goes, okay? And I feel like there's a part of you that wants to have that, you know, love in your life, whether it's the past person or somebody new. Um, but you are still kind of like relearning yourself through this process, which, you know, it's good. Um, now let's see, how does this, I mean, as I was asking how this person feels about you, it's kind of a mixed bag, you know, because I feel like they, they view you as someone who is really spectacular um, but they know some secrets about you and it feels like they know that, that it's, um, it's, it's not, they know it's an intuitive knowing that you've been the victim of something and that you have had many sleepless nights and that you, you struggle at night. Um, and I, they're just giving me the sense like this person wants to come in and just lay by your side and, um, bring comfort and love and peace to your mind and to your heart you know um, why is this person so why is this energy playing out with this person okay they want to they want to be there they want to be your 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 hero is really what I feel here this person wants to be your hero not in a conquering way, but they want to be the victor of your heart, you know? Not in a conquering, not, you know, conquer and then, you know, leave you lying on the side of the road. Not kind of that thing. Um, they want you to be successful. Who is this person? If this is your past person, what has changed here? Because I feel um, that your person your past if this is your past person they've had a tower moment themselves definitely when that tower hits like i said um it like they've had a violent hit to the ego and and maybe because of a separation um maybe some of you walked away from this past relationship was like very heartbroken they became heartbroken something happened i want to ask Sorry for the blur. What happened in this relationship that caused this heartbreak? Hmm. Okay. 
Queen of Swords. Now this can go two different ways. So I'm going to give you a couple of messages that I'm just getting right now. There was either third party interference or um, there were some very harsh critical words that were said. Some truth that came out. Okay. Um, you know, critical in the sense of like maybe um, not mean, but constructive criticism. Definitely no love and tenderness <laughs> in the Queen of Swords communication. And maybe it came from you, maybe it came from them. Um, and again, there might have been a third party or someone else being involved in some way. Show me more of this. Okay. Yeah, so if it does feel, okay, so if there was third party, you know, I mean, that's pretty evident what that is all about. Um, okay, I'm picking up Sagittarius energy here as well. So without a third party situation, um, there was an energy of balanced truth. There was an energy that somebody said to another person, um, I don't feel like we're in harmony with each other and I want us to be in harmony. I want us to be, um, you know, it's, oh, I just heard it's not the right time. I, I'm not sure it's the right time. Somebody said that to somebody else or, or somebody said, I'm not going to wait for that. Yeah. Okay. Um, there was an energy here of feeling a, there was an abandonment or an avoidant issue going on here. Um, and now maybe you were avoidant or another person. And if you've listened to my last three podcasts, I talk about the avoidant. Um, your person might have been that way and you might be anxious. You might have an anxious attachment, which then, then does create that dance that's very difficult to get out of. That's a kind of connection. Uh, runner chaser energy. Okay. Um, I, for some of you, I feel like you either initiated a breakup or you came to terms about a relationship or a breakup and just decided that it wasn't something you were going to pursue or at least invest in. Yet this person, I feel like they view you, uh, as someone who was investing in this connection due to your anxiety, due to you needed to have victory in this connection in some way. Okay. You needed to keep securing it. If it was a runner chaser, maybe you kept running back to the person and the more you run back, the more they avoided. And then when you would pull back, they would chase after you. And there was just very unbalanced, but I do see, as I said, there's an energy of coming back into balance here, like equal, you know, meeting in the middle, but taking time to do that, which, you know, that feels very positive. A lot of healing and renewal happening here. How else does this person see you, Virgo? Okay. Hmm. King of Cups. Um, so the King of Cups is the only king in this deck that wears a wedding band. Um, probably won't be able to see it, but yeah, it's right there on where he's holding the scepter. Okay. Um, the king of cup, king of cups, um, whether it's in masculine or feminine energy sees you as a spouse. Um, they have very deep feelings. This person's very wise. Um, so I don't know if that's the person you were connecting with, but this is someone they see you as very committed. Um, they see you as someone that could be there, you know, happily ever after. And I feel like working out the kinks in some kind of relationship, um, past relationships, um, traumas, things that are left over and blossoming into another opportunity or chance is definitely happening in April. Let's see how else do they see you oh also the king of pentacles um it's interesting they see you as very solid and stable they see you oh, look at this the one thing that i noticed about this king um the purple represents loyalty the green represents like 
a, a spring and a freshness, um, very earthy. But I love that this king sits on a very plush velvet throne. They see you as someone who lives a good life or that quality over quantity is very important to you. And I feel like that this person really likes that about you. Um, they also see you as having options <laughs> that they may not be the only one. They, they, this person feels like there may be competition or that um, you may have, maybe you are talking to two people. Maybe it's this person and somebody else. Okay. Hmm, how else do they see you, Virgo? Wow. Get the world. And they just said that they see you as someone they want to write this chapter, a new chapter with. Blank page. Beginning again. They see you as also someone that they learn a lot from. Okay. Um, it's very interesting. They just said this person views you, um, and they use the term Virgo completes me. Virgo's everything that I want. Uh, Virgo's the one. You're the one that I want. You are the one I want. Hoo, hoo, hoo. They see you as someone that they could write books about. <laughs> You're almost, it's so weird. They're giving me like this fairy tale. They view you as like a, you're like a fairy tale <laughs> to them. It's <laughs> so weird. I don't usually get that from the world card. Oh, they just said, um, they see you as, they gave me the song, A Whole New World, a Disney song. Um, that song, I can show you the world. Da, na, 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 na. So they see you as like some, that song, the lyrics of that song. That's how they feel about you. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. All right, one more card to see how they feel about you, Virgo. <laughs> oh, look at this. We've got three kings. So now we have, again, Libra. I'm sorry, I did say Libra, but okay, maybe I didn't, but there you go. Um, all four kings are definitely on the table. They feel like you have a pick of the litter. They definitely feel like you can have anyone you want. As far as energies, they feel like you are very, um, very supportive and nurturing, uh, resourceful, and um, solid and practical, and also um, charming and quite feisty, you know, quite bold and with a lot of courage. Okay. But they also see that, uh, they know this person knows that you could just snap your fingers and anybody will, you know, run to your rescue or come and be with you. Um, there's definitely, they know that there's competition that could have a little bit to do with why the six of wands is here, it, but it's not about conquering your heart for the sake of just winning. It's also because they want to be your hero. You know, they don't want anyone else to be, um, a hero to you. They feel like they're the better fit for you. Okay. And like I said, for some of you, this could be someone from the past, but it could also be somebody new. You know, you're just going to have to wait and see how it plays out if you meet someone, you know. All right, let's get Virgo. Do I blow smoke or do I? I don't try to. I'm not really trying to. I really feel like um, you're shining. You're standing out. You're you're withholding and hiding your, your hurt and your fear and your thoughts about, well, not so much your fear, but you're not opening up fully to somebody new or to a person from the past, your deep hurts and your fears. But I feel like over time, if there's a reconnection or somebody that you're meeting, I feel like over time you will. Let's take a look and see what um, whoever this person is coming in, past or future, what their Chinese message, their Chinese sign is here. And also, um, 
it could be yours as well, so take that into account. All right, let's see. So we have a rabbit, year of the rabbit. Okay, year of the rooster. Twice, year of the rooster. Okay, we have the dragon, year of the dragon. We have the year of the dog, year of the ox, year of the monkey. Okay, dragon is twice, dragon and rooster. There could be a match here. I believe that the rooster and the dragon go well, go well, very, they go very well together. Um, I think the ox goes well with rooster as well. Okay, we have year of the horse. We have the tiger. I'm going to pull one more. And we have the year of the rat. Okay. So if your sign isn't called or if you meet this person, it's not their sign, don't, um, or if this is your past person, uh, don't think that the reading is not for you or that it's not about that person. Let's take a look at the messages of love and the hidden truth oracle. Let's see what comes out here for you guys. Oh, I have one left here. Don't forget, you guys, underneath the video, the links are all available to um, all of my favorite tarot cards, decks that you can get that are also um, help to support my channel. Whatever you purchase helps to support my channel. And um, I have a new tarot deck that is now available for purchase. Well, it's, called, it's not new to my subscribers, but if you are new to my channel, it will be. Um, and I'll be using those in just a minute. There's links to that. There's a link also to purchase that deck. And I do have a new deck that's coming out that I will be showing you guys very soon. I just created it, and so I'm just waiting for the approval to go through. So let's see. What are the messages here for Virgo? Okay. I hide behind material things. Okay. Okay. I feel like that's you, Virgo, as you're going through this healing process. You're really just focusing on your work, your your career, your money, your fashion, your material things. You know, all things, your investments, um, your purchases, you know, um, material items. Staying busy with material, tangible things in your life. Okay. I hid who I really am from you. So, Virgo... Um, I hate to say it, but I feel like this is your energy. Um, either you're hiding or you will be hiding your true soul or self or you hid from someone in the past. Um, there could have been a fear of, of being hurt. Um, maybe hiding behind material things. Uh, it Just kind of a safety net because I do feel like that. But I feel like your person did the same. Okay. Um, that's that four of pentacles energy. That's that blocking energy. Holding on to our possessions, our material things. Um, uh, that Because that is something that two people felt that they, they could control. Okay? Because that Four of Pentacles is like long-term security, you know? Needing that long-term security in, ever in order to feel like a sense of control in life. Okay? Somebody regrets lying to you. Um... And, or it's vice versa, okay? There were some things that you didn't tell. I feel like there was a breakdown in communication. And that had a lot, to, or, or shall I say breakdown in effective communication because people can talk to each other for years and not really be effective in what they're trying to say. I feel like that really was the issue, okay? Um, in a relationship in the past. And then it just kind of caused a lot of hurt and resentment. And then... The lying part, I feel like there were things that needed to be said, but different words were used, um, which seemed for some that there was a lie. For others, there were actual lies. Lies. Somebody was covering something up because there was a fear of, they're just saying um, somebody lied in order not to be abandoned or rejected. Somebody did that. Here. So support is here. Leading on your inner circle during this time is really important for you. Um, 
some of you, like I said, there could be uh, counseling or spiritual help or family or friends or people who are um, there as you're going through this change, even though you've got love coming in. And again, whether that's a past love or somebody new, or it could be all at the same time, because there are four kings. Well, one's in reverse, but the other three are still here. And as I said, feminine or uh, masculine energy. Let me see. Taking on that more alpha role. I wish I had treated you better. I feel like these are conversations that you and another person are having. But look, wait, the timing is not quite right. I feel like I talked about that earlier. Somebody said this, you know, and maybe it was you. Um, Virgo, you might not have been able to really express yourself and maybe just said to somebody or will say to somebody, you know, uh, I'm not ready or I don't think it's we're in time with each other in alignment. Um, and that could have a lot to do with some um, because you're still trying to sort things out for yourself about past relationships or things like that. I don't feel like you're throwing love out the door. Okay. I, I don't, I just feel like you're kind of slow in your role here with somebody. Um, there's a lot of self reflect. I'm really surprised that the hermit didn't show up here in this reading because I really feel like there's been a lot of self reflection. Um, you know, the hermit very well might not be showing up here because the hermit's in hermit mode. The hermit can't be seen. And sometimes as a reader, I will take into account certain cards that come up that are being told to me that don't show up in the reading. Okay. And that basically is saying it, that's very significant if it hasn't been showing up because there's been a lot of withdrawal and a lot of going within in like somebody been in their cave sorting things out okay about what about this two of cups energy about a relationship about two people coming together in a romantic it really just about this partnership and um the romantic aspect of it this doesn't feel like friends this feels like a romantic reading about a romantic relationship okay here we go look Two waiting cards, again with the Seven of Pentacles and the Hanged Man, gaining clarity, seeing things from a different perspective. I feel like there's a lot of healing happening in the connection here between two people. Um, healing one another, healing the relationship, two people healing on their own and coming together, not rushing. Piscean energy here. I love it. I just love it. All right, let me see. So... Here's the deck. There's a link below if you're interested in purchasing this deck. It is from my Moon Pie Tarot channel, and I have been using it, as some of you know. The link is below. If you want to purchase, it's now available. All right, let's see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. Other messages for Virgo. All right. Okay, boom. Yeah, tower. Things may seem to be in, be in chaos or have been, and maybe for the good right now. Every storm, after every storm comes the washing away. Stand firmly on the ground and know this is all for the best. I'm telling you, um, there's definitely a shock to the system happening here in between two people. Uh, the tower doesn't always mean it's bad because the aftermath of a tower means rebuilding. Okay, so that energy is playing out here. Okay, and then you have the fool taking a risk. What did, what do you have to lose, Virgo? Starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings. Try not to overthink it. So don't stay down in your in your hermit energy for too long. And you also have the magician. Manifestation. Lay all your cards on the table. Don't be in fear. Use every tool to in your arsenal to create and manifest this journey as it is above and below. So it will be here on earth. Getting all the major arcanas. This is crazy. Um, you have the tower. You have the fool. You have the magician, and you have and you have the strength card. So Gemini. 
uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. You have the courage and the strength to withstand the situation. Go with kindness. It's the strongest attribute you'll ever have. Fight back by not fighting. Pull that courage up from the ground and hold steady. Virgo, you're a winner. And this person sees you in, as a winner. There's somebody here who wants to take a risk with you. Um, you know, the tower has come. The tower has come. It has already happened. The wake up, the realization, the opportunity to rebuild somebody, two people, are definitely in this, like, after the tower, we heal. One more, please. Okay. Your test, your faith and your boundaries are being tested at this time. Where do you stand, Virgo? That's the question. Where are you standing? Let me get a couple of other things here because I feel like this is an energy of protection but of fighting as well. Okay. Somebody here is holding on to a lot of regret and wanting to heal the regret. Okay. Definitely. Now, listen, I just want to say something to anybody that's interested in buying these cards. Listen to me. Do you see how this is card is falling apart? I have been using these cards for two years straight, like every day. Okay. So please don't think that when you get this deck <laughs> that like within a week, it's going to turn into this. I am a tarot reading reader. I do this professionally. Okay, and I'm I am using these cards, scratching them up. I am shuffling. I am putting them all over the place. Like nothing's ever going to be perfect. I mean, you, you use something a lot. This is what's going to happen. This this will not happen to you right away. <laughs> I know. I'm, lately, I've been looking at these cards, and I'm like, oh my gosh, here I am trying to sell these cards, and look at how they're they're definitely wear and tear, and I could use a new set, but they are these are like I'm telling you, I'm shuffling these things like eight hours a day like like nine days a week i'm telling you so somebody here has a lot of regret okay definitely living with regret a lot of negative thinking okay you also have good vibes definitely a little marky mark energy here good vibrations go out in the sun virgo get some vitamin d play with your kids go to a playground swim in the sea play 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 and we do have that playfulness you know Playfulness, comedy, and humor really helps. It can be very therapeutic. So if you're in like that deep, dark hermit mode and you're fearful or you're not sure, give yourself a break, right? Get out there on the swings. Get out there and play. Um, listen to some comedy shows or something, something that's going to make you laugh. And I'm not talking about giggle. I'm talking about belly laugh you need some belly laughing you really do you need to really get into and even in this relationship like i'm telling you the best thing i feel and this is my personal opinion i'm not intuiting this but i feel the best healing to happen in a relationship or the the best relationships are the ones where two people are just happy and laughing together do you know what I mean? Uh, and I'm not saying that if you've been involved in the past with someone who, you know, was was extremely damaging and toxic to you that you should just laugh it off. I, I'm definitely not saying that. But I feel like maybe there's something here about um, getting into a new relationship with someone who really gives you those belly laughs are so important and, and vice versa. Okay. And that's that brings on those positive vibes. Okay, just loving your life and laughing. There's no sense in, I just heard the Joker, Heath, Heath Ledger. Why so serious all the time, right? Um, and maybe you were with someone who was, you know, um, very negative in their thinking. Or maybe that was you, you know, for a long time. Okay, Spirit's saying you're got, you get some money is coming. You're going to be getting like some money in the bank. Could be refund um some payouts um dividends there's money going to be coming into your bank account and i'm not i don't know that it's going to be millions or anything it could be maybe you're playing some games and winning some games and getting some money what else oh my goodness okay we got the twin soul here we go Okay, twin soul, communicate your love to the divine. 
Be thankful for this twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another. When times are tough and may seem back and forth, this love was meant to be. It's time to reconcile. So there is definitely going to be a reconciliation between two people. Reconciling that two people really do love each other and, and they have to like come open. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm going to put this out here. Okay. I, I never condone reconciling with someone who's abusive. Okay. I, I, I will never ever steer you in that way. If a message comes through, I, I question my guides at times when I hear that, but I also say, what do you mean? Okay. Um, Severely abusive people um, belong in like asylums. They do. And having relationships with them will just destroy your soul. Um, there are people that you can have relationships with who are just extremely selfish. Does that make them extremely abusive? No. And I think it's all about putting that into perspective. If you know that the person you were with um, was so toxic to the point that that poison got into your soul and healing and not going back is the way to go, then you know your story better than I do. And I'm talking to a lot of people. Not everybody I talk to is dealing with an abusive situation. Um, some people were really just dealing with um, someone who's just very immature. Okay. Or in Virgo, some of you, I'm talking to you. Some of you might have been very immature. So, but I don't mean immature is like childish. I just mean like needed to become more secure within self, right? And I talk about that in my podcasts. Um, if you, ha if somebody has an anxious attachment love style or someone has an avoidant, there's an element there. The, the undercurrent is a fear of abandonment and rejection. And it's really important to turn inward and grow secure within self. Okay. Um, so I don't want you to, I, I know, I don't know why I'm saying this because I don't usually have to, but I feel there's something that I need to say that, um, if you are in an abusive relationship, it's, it's, that's not what I'm talking about here. I don't feel like that's what this energy is. Um, and if you were and, and you're upset because I'm telling you that things could get better, this might not be your reading, okay? All right, so I've got a new bag, and we're going to pull some charms out of the bag. <clears throat> and I only have, like, two minutes to do a couple of charms, so I'm only going to do two <clears throat> because my camera is going to shut itself off. Okay, we have two hearts, and we have the Dove of Peace, and that's all I'm saying there. We have two hearts and we have the dove of peace. So there's definitely peace coming to a love relationship between two people. It's either healing and peace of a past connection or meeting someone who just fits you where there's love and peace in the connection and a lot of joy and happiness. All right. Numbers and signs. Okay. Libra, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, and oh we have three sevens seven 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 so this is luck this is good fortune okay we also have a six and let me pull let me get a couple others okay so we have cancer pisces virgo and Taurus again, and we have four, four, six, and ten. I'm sorry, yeah, that's a six, could be a nine. We also have 69. All right, let me do a couple more, and then I'm going to end out your reading. Please do make sure that you smash that like and subscribe button. Okay, so if Taurus again, we have eight, we have Scorpio, Libra, we have Gemini, we have two, and we have 11. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed that reading. I will uh, be seeing you the next podcast um, on Monday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern. 
So do remember to join into the chat and the topic will be announced um, tomorrow or on Monday. All right, you guys, love you very much and I will speak to you soon. Take care.